Hi, I'm Casey Fick, Communications Coordinator for the State of Missouri Deferred Compensation Plan. This is your April 2013 video edition of the DC Update. The PBS program Frontline recently aired a documentary titled The Retirement Gamble, which investigated the retirement planning and mutual fund industry. A good portion of the report explored the excessive and often misunderstood fees associated with popular investment products, and how they can negatively impact your ability to accumulate adequate retirement savings. Frontline's findings were eye-opening and highlight the importance of understanding the funds you invest in to save for retirement. Another recent national survey revealed that one out of every five 401k participants didn't believe they were paying any fees or expenses for the retirement savings plan. In that same study, of those who knew they were paying fees and expenses, over 50% of respondents didn't know how much those fees actually were. Telling as these reports may be, the most crucial fact to pull from them all is that retirement savings plans, whether it be a 401k, IRA, 403b, or 457, are not free. Part of what makes the State of Missouri Deferred Compensation Plan such a valuable employee benefit is that we're able to provide these retirement savings products at competitively low fees. But what are those fees? Generally speaking, you can expect two types of fees when you participate in a retirement savings plan. Administration fees, which cover the cost of actually providing the plan, and investment fees, which are embedded in the specific fund options available within the plan. Investment fees are typically expressed as expense ratios. In today's Adding It Up, we will explore what an expense ratio is and how it can affect your bottom line over a long period of time. Simply put, an expense ratio is a recurring annual fee you pay for investing in a fund. For example, if Fund A has an expense ratio of 0.67% or 67 basis points, you can expect to pay an annual operating expense of $6.70 for every $1,000 you invest in that fund. The lower a fund's expense ratio, the less you pay to invest in it, and the more money you retain for compounding. High expense ratios aren't necessarily bad if a fund produces higher returns on your investment. But keep in mind, high expense ratios can eat away at your savings if a fund does not achieve proportionately higher returns over time. As an example, let's assume you have a starting balance of $10,000 and that you contribute $25 to it each semi-monthly pay period for 25 years. If you invested that money in a fund with a 1.9% expense ratio that earned a 6% annual rate of return over those 25 years, you would have $58,942. With all of the same assumptions, including an identical rate of return, a fund with a 0.9% or 9 tenth of 1% expense ratio would yield an account balance of $75,842 after 25 years. Using the same assumptions and rate of return again, a fund with a 0.25% or quarter of 1% expense ratio would give you $95,613 after 25 years. While a quarter of 1% and 9 tenths of 1% may both appear low, choosing the fund with the cheaper expense ratio could save $19,771 over 25 years. You can see why expense ratios are such an important factor to consider as you're making investment choices. For more information on the Deferred Compensation Plan's fees, including a detailed fee and investment disclosure, visit modeferredcomp.org and navigate to the Fund Information and Fees page under the About the Plan tab. As a reminder, your first quarter statements for the period January 1 through March 31, 2013 are now available online in account access under the Statements and Confirms tab. And don't forget, you can quickly access your Deferred Compensation Plan account by using the Missouri State Employees Self-Service Portal and clicking on the Log Me In to My Deferred Compensation Plan link under the Benefits tab. Please note that since the New York Stock Exchange was closed on Good Friday, which happened to be the last business day of March, your March 29th contribution was not posted to your account until April 1st. Because of this delay, your March 29th contribution was omitted from your quarterly statement. Rest assured, we did receive your contribution and it was credited to your account. We apologize for any confusion this might have caused. But the old saying holds true that April's wet weather promises to bring an abundance of May flowers. The month of May will also bring special recognition for State of Missouri employees, as we'll celebrate not one, but two employee recognition events. Public Service Recognition Week, which runs from May 5th through the 11th, honors the men and women who serve as federal, state, county, and local government employees. This national event is sponsored by the Public Employee Roundtable. On the state level, the Missouri State Employee Recognition Week will run from May 27th through the 31st, culminating in State Employee Recognition Day on the 31st. Be sure to visit the Deferred Compensation Plans booth at this year's event and enter to win, among other prizes, one of our goal-specific financial plans, which is a $175 value. 
To kick off the festivities, we'd like to personally thank you, the state employee, for your dedicated service and all that you do to make the lives of Missouri citizens better. This DC update includes cumulative auto enrollment statistics by department as of April 1st of 2013. View the text version of this update for the full report. Thanks for tuning in to the April 2013 video edition of the DC Update. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to join our growing online audience at Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Connecting with the plan is a great way to receive timely planned news, savings tips, and more. Until next time, this has been Casey Fick, Communications Coordinator for the State of Missouri Deferred Compensation Plan, your smart, simple saving solution. Mm -hmm.